Hello everyone, welcome back to our creative writing class. In today's lesson, we will talk about script writing, writing dramatic plays. Again, this is Mrs. Jessica Simiage, your creative writing teacher. Let's proceed with the objectives. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to first explain the basic steps in script writing, second, analyze the essential contents of each step in writing the script, and lastly, demonstrate learning through script writing activities. To start up, Writing your script at first can be very challenging. It is normal to feel anxious or even frightened to do something for the first time, and script writing for drama is no exemption. But don't worry, today in this lesson, you will be introduced to the basics in script writing. First is brainstorming, second is preparing the structure, and third is the writing proper. But first, let us take a look at this simple example of drama titled The Dancers by Alberto S. Florentino. First, it presents the characters, which are Tony, Nenita, Mother, Juanito, Father, and Elena, and of course, Rita. The time that it introduces is an early evening. The particular scene are the following. The front yard of poor families dwelling on the outskirts of the city. The backdrop shows the front of a house, a doorway, a wide low window, and three steps of adobe stones. The two long wooden branches, one on each side, downstage, an old rattan chair, probably salvaged from a nearby dump. The street is to the left, the sound of children playing can be heard. Juanito, a thin gangling boy of 12, still in shorts, sits on the rattan chair balled up tightly like a bomb, looking despondently at the children playing in the street. Nenita, a growing girl of 17, sits on the long wooden bench at right, her unshod feet resting on it. She is reading a copy of Filipino comics. Tony, about 21, in denim pants and t-shirt, enters from the street. He throws his cap through the window. Now, this is the dialogue. Tony to Juanito. Why aren't you playing with your friends? Juanito. No answer. Tony. Hey, what's the matter with you? He nudges him. Tony. He flaunts a wad of paper money before him. Aren't you going to ask for money today? That is a simple... These excerpt from that drama surely took a process to finish creatively and you're about to explore the process and get to start writing your very own. First is to brainstorm your narrative. You have first to decide what type of story to tell and think about what genre of drama you want to explore. So what are those again genre of drama? They are comedy, tragedy, satire, melodrama, musical drama, historical drama, and fantasy. Then you have to divide your story into three parts. First is the exposition, second is the rising action, 
and then the resolution. You have to know your plot. How will the events run? Will it be in a chronological order? Will it be a flashback? Or will it start at mid-dress or at the middle? Then, you've got to develop and deepen your story. Develop your plot to deepen your story. Second, decide on the structure of your play. Start trying one-act plays. For example, The Pretentious Young Ladies by Molière, The Dancers by Alberto S. Florentino, which we talked about a while back. This one-act play, though short, still has an exposition, rising action, and resolution. It requires simple sets and costumes. Next, Try the most common structure in contemporary theater, the two-act play. For example, is The Homecoming by Harold Pinter. Now, two-act play is the most common structure in contemporary theater. It usually runs for half an hour with additional 15-minute intermission. Now, the three-act play is a more complex type. If you can see on the picture on the right, it is commonly divided as the exposition, rising tension, and resolution. Three parts. It has Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3. So it can run from 1 to 2 hours. Let's now go to the writing the play. You have first to create an outline of your acts and scene. Once the outline is finished, you can now write the actual play. Always be mindful of the transitions or intermissions. Interruptions in your dialogue can be helpful too because it can appear as an actual day-to-day -day conversation between people, just like in dialogues. You can add stage directions. For example, physical actions, Morley hangs up the phone. Then, rewrite your draft as much as you want. Now that you learn those principles, it's time to get warm up. For your first activity, title the story I want to tell from what you have learned from the previous discussion, brainstorm on what story you want to tell your audience. Prepare the basic information and deepen on how the elements will interact with each other. Write it in a separate sheet of paper. For your second activity, title the structure of my story. After brainstorming on your activity, you will develop the structure of your drama. You have to decide on what level of difficulty regarding structure your story will be. It can be a simple one act or a more complex three-act play. Then, you have to answer the following questions. First, what type of structure did you choose for your play? Second, what influenced you to choose that particular type of structure? And third, in what way is the structure ideal for your story? For your evaluation, 
This activity will focus on the actual writing of the play. In writing the play, the following are some of the tips you might need to bear in mind. First is to prepare your outline. Second is to start with your dialogues. Third is to be mindful of the transitions. Fourth is don't be afraid to use interruptions and fragments occasionally. Next, include stage directions in the script. Rewrite if there is a need to. For your assignment, evaluate the story you wrote. You have to research on a stage play that has similarity to the material you wrote. Both materials can be regarding genre, theme, etc. You have to provide a comparison and answer the following questions. How did you find a similar material to the one you wrote? How are these two materials similar? What make both materials effective regarding how the elements interact? What are the things that your story needs to improve upon? That's all for our lesson.